our dressing room. This is Luther Vandross's dressing room. This is the stage. Wow. He doesn't want us to pass his dressing room to go to the stage. <laughs> Luther Vandross, an icon in the music industry, captivated audiences with his soulful voice and touching lyrics. Behind the glamour and fame, however, was a man grappling with personal demons and complex relationships within the industry. Vandross's journey, marked by feuds with fellow artists, struggles with personal identity, and health challenges, paints a picture of a star whose light was both bright and, at times, shadowed by controversy. My friend Luther was, a, was gay, um, but... He was my, one of my best friends. Interestingly, despite his private nature, Vandross's interactions with other artists often made headlines, hinting at a world of ego clashes and artistic differences. His talent was undeniable, but it was his human flaws and vulnerabilities that made him a figure of intrigue and empathy. From his rumored ego clashes with Anita Baker to the strained dynamics with groups like En Vogue and the D-Bargs, each interaction tells a story of artistic brilliance entwined with human complexity. Moreover, Vandross's personal life was a tapestry of unspoken truths and hidden battles. The loneliness and depression that shadowed him were partly attributed to the societal pressures of the era, particularly concerning his sexuality. His health struggles, including a lifelong battle with weight fluctuation, added another layer of challenge to his life, reflecting a man in constant struggle with his own body and public image. Looking from an angle, it is evident that Vandross's story is not just one of musical genius, but also of a man navigating the treacherous waters of fame, personal identity, and health. Though shrouded in privacy, his life offers a glimpse into the trials faced by those in the limelight, where personal struggles are often hidden behind a veneer of success. Delving into Luther Vandross's life, we will uncover the stories behind the headlines, the music, and the public persona. From his feuds with other artists to his internal battles, each chapter of his life reveals a facet of a man who, despite his challenges, left an indelible mark on the world of music. This is the story of Luther Vandross, the man with the golden voice. The rivalry between Luther Vandross and Anita Baker, two of the most celebrated voices in R&B and soul music, was more than just a series of ego clashes. It was a complex interplay of artistic pride, passion, and the pressures of co-headlining a high-profile tour. Their joint venture, initially seen as a dream pairing for fans, quickly evolved into a study of two contrasting musical philosophies and personalities. Vandross's approach to music was marked by an intense focus on precision and excellence. His dedication to detail in every aspect of his performances, from vocal arrangements to stage design, was legendary. This perfectionism, really a hallmark of his success, also set high standards for those he worked with, including Baker. Anita Baker, on the other hand, brought her own unique style and approach to the collaboration. Known for her soulful voice and emotive performances, Baker's musical ethos was deeply rooted in feeling and spontaneity, which sometimes clashed with Vandross's methodical approach. The tour, which promised a fusion of two great musical talents, instead became a platform where these differences played out. Reports of disagreements over song choices, arrangements, and even performance styles began to surface. The situation was not helped by the high expectations from fans and the media, who were eager to see these two stars shine together. The pressure to deliver a flawless joint performance only heightened the existing tensions. Interestingly, the conflict between Vandross and Baker was reflective of broader themes within the music industry. It highlighted the challenges of artistic collaborations, especially between established artists with strong individual identities. The music industry, often seen as a space for creativity and unity, can also be a battleground for artistic control and recognition. The Vandross-Baker feud also had implications beyond their personal relationship. It affected the crew, 
the tour schedule, and even their interactions with fans. The tension was palpable, not just backstage, but also in their onstage interactions, where the chemistry that fans had hoped for seemed strained. Despite these challenges, the tour did have its moments of brilliance. When Vandross and Baker managed to find common ground, their performances were nothing short of magical. These moments were a testament to their professionalism and their ability to rise above personal differences for the sake of their art and their fans. Moreover, the feud between Vandross and Baker can be seen as a reflection of the times. The 1980s and early 1990s were periods of intense competition in the music industry, with artists constantly striving to assert their dominance in a crowded market. The Vandross-Baker rivalry was, in many ways, a product of this environment. Two artists at the top of their game, each trying to maintain their standing in the industry. In hindsight, the feud between the two greats offers valuable lessons about collaboration, compromise, and the complex dynamics of co-headlining tours. It serves as a reminder that even the most talented artists can face challenges when blending their visions and personalities. But despite the conflicts, the legacy of their tour remains a significant chapter in the history of Arampa B music, showcasing the highs and lows of artistic collaboration. But that's not the only beef Vandross encountered. His collaboration and en vogue, initially perceived as an exciting fusion of distinct musical styles, soon evolved into a complex narrative of artistic tension and contrasting expectations. En Vogue, a group celebrated for their vocal harmony and modern art and b style, brought a fresh and vibrant energy to the music scene. Their approach to performance, marked by a blend of contemporary flair and vocal prowess, contrasted starkly with Vandross's more traditional and polished style. This difference in musical ethos became a significant source of tension during their joint tour. The challenges of the tour were not limited to musical differences. Vandross, a veteran in the industry, had established a certain way of working, a rhythm and routine that he found comfortable and effective. En Vogue, on the other hand, was relatively new to the industry's pressures and had their own ideas about how things should be done. This clash of working styles led to disagreements over everything from set list arrangements to rehearsal schedules. The interplay of different generational approaches to music and performance also played a role in the tensions. Vandross, having navigated the music industry for years, held certain expectations about professionalism and stagecraft. En Vogue, representing a newer generation of artists, brought with them a different perspective one that sometimes conflicted with Vandross's views. This generational gap, coupled with the pressures of a joint tour, created a fertile ground for misunderstandings and conflicts. Despite these challenges, the collaboration between the two also had moments of harmony and artistic brilliance. When their musical styles aligned, they delivered performances that showcased the best of both worlds, Vandross's soulful melodies complemented by En Vogue's energetic harmonies. The tour also highlighted the importance of communication and mutual respect in collaborative projects. The misunderstandings and conflicts could often be traced back to a lack of clear communication and an understanding of each other's artistic visions and working methods. This situation underscores the challenges artists face when trying to merge distinct creative processes and personalities into a cohesive performance. Furthermore, the dynamic between Vandross and En Vogue provides insights into the complexities of co-headlining tours. Such collaborations require not only a blending of musical styles, but also a negotiation of egos, expectations, and visions. Then there is the third scandal, the collaboration between Luther Vandross and the D.A. Barges, which was initially filled with promise, unfolded into a narrative marked by discord and professional disagreements. The D.A. Barges, a group known for their distinct blend of rhythm and blues, funk and pop, brought a unique sound and style to the music scene. 
Their approach, however, differed significantly from Vandross's well-established and disciplined methodology. Vandross, with years of experience and a reputation for exacting standards, found the DeBarge's more relaxed and spontaneous approach to be at odds with his own. The heart of the conflict lay not just in differing musical styles, but also in the approach to professionalism and work ethic. As earlier mentioned, Vandross, a meticulous planner, valued structured rehearsals and a rigorous approach to performance. In contrast, the D.E. Barge's approach was more fluid, sometimes perceived as lax or unprofessional in comparison. These contrasting work ethics led to friction, with Vandross feeling that the D.E. Barges were not meeting the high standards he set for their joint performances. Additionally, the dynamics within the D.E. Barges as a family group added another layer to the complexity. Family relationships, with their inherent emotional ties, can influence professional interactions in unique ways. This aspect of the group's makeup sometimes played into the tensions with Vandross, as familial bonds intersected with professional expectations. Despite the discord, the tour did provide moments where the musical genius of both Vandross and the D.E. Barges shone through. When their styles managed to harmonize, the result was a captivating blend of Vandross's soulful crooning and the group's unique sound, offering glimpses of what could have been a seamless artistic collaboration. Vandross's frustrations with the D. Barges may have influenced his future collaborations impacting his approach to working with other artists. Similarly, for the D.E. Barges, navigating these tensions provided lessons in the complexities of the music industry, particularly in collaborating with artists of Vandross's caliber. Vandross also managed to pick a feud with the legendary Aretha Franklin. The creative disagreement between Vandross and Aretha, two luminaries of soul music, presents a fascinating case study of artistic collaboration and conflict. Aretha Franklin, known as the Queen of Soul, brought to the table not only her powerful voice, but also a strong sense of artistic identity forged over decades. Vandross, equally respected for his vocal prowess and musical acumen, approached his craft with a meticulousness that earned him wide acclaim. The disagreement over how a song should be sung was more than a clash of opinions. It was a meeting of two distinct musical philosophies. Vandross's approach to music production was rooted in his desire to achieve a certain sound and emotional resonance. His background in music production and songwriting informed his perspectives on how songs should be structured and performed. Franklin, with her deep roots in gospel and soul music, had a more instinctive approach, relying on her innate musicality and emotional expression. This fundamental difference in their musical approaches laid the groundwork for their disagreement. The period of their collaboration was marked by a transition in musical styles and production techniques. The evolving landscape of the music industry in the 1980s and 1990s influenced how artists like Vandross and Aretha approached their craft, each trying to balance traditional elements with contemporary influences. When two strong creative minds come together, the potential for conflict is as significant as the opportunity for synergy. The disagreement between these two artists serves as a reminder that creative collaboration often involves negotiation, compromise, and an understanding of each other's artistic vision. Moreover, the dispute provides insights into the personalities of both Vandross and Aretha. Vandross's willingness to engage in a creative debate with a figure as esteemed as Aretha speaks to his confidence in his artistic vision. For Franklin, standing her ground against Vandross's suggestions underscores her commitment to her musical instincts and her status as a seasoned artist. Despite the disagreement, the collaboration between Vandross and Franklin was a significant moment in music history. It brought together two different eras and styles of soul music, offering fans a rare fusion of talents. The respect they had for each other despite their differences exemplifies the professionalism and mutual admiration that can exist even in the face of artistic discord. 
But there was more to the singer's life than occasional beefs, something much worse. The narrative of Luther Vandross's life is deeply marked by his personal struggles with depression and loneliness, issues that ran beneath the surface of his acclaimed musical career. The singer's loneliness was not merely a byproduct of the typical isolation experienced by many celebrities. It was intricately linked to his private battle with his identity, particularly regarding his sexuality. In an era when societal acceptance was far from universal, Vandross faced the daunting prospect of balancing his public persona with his private truth. This constant juggling act, maintaining a facade for the public while grappling with personal truths, likely exacerbated his feelings of isolation and loneliness. Often, artists channel their personal struggles into their work, and Vandross was no exception. His songs, renowned for their emotional depth and soulful melodies, were likely influenced by his own experiences of sorrow and solitude. Music became both an outlet and a mirror for Vandross, reflecting his innermost feelings in a way that words alone could not. Moreover, his struggles with depression and loneliness highlight the broader issue of mental health, particularly in the entertainment industry. The pressure to maintain a particular image, the intense scrutiny from the public and media, and the irregular lifestyle that accompanies a career in music can take a significant toll on an individual's mental well-being. Vandross's story sheds light on these challenges, offering a poignant example of the hidden battles many artists face. The societal context of his era plays a crucial role in understanding his struggles. The stigmas surrounding mental health and sexuality during his time made it even more challenging for individuals to seek help or express themselves freely. Vandross lived in a period when public revelation of one's sexuality, especially if it deviated from the norm, could have serious personal and professional repercussions. Despite these challenges, his ability to connect with his audience through music was undiminished. His songs resonated with many who had faced similar struggles, making his music a source of comfort and understanding for his fans. Vandross's vulnerability, though hidden behind the veneer of celebrity, was subtly present in his music, lending it a relatability that transcended the usual artist-listener dynamic. His personal journey offers insights into the resilience required to navigate fame and personal challenges. His continued dedication to his music, despite his struggles, is a testament to his strength and commitment to his craft. It also underscores the importance of compassion and understanding for public figures who, despite their fame, are grappling with the same human issues as everyone else. Musical beefs aside, depression aside, Luther Vandross's public battle with weight fluctuation and his private struggle with health issues such as diabetes and hypertension form a significant and poignant part of his life story. The singer's fluctuating weight was not just a physical health issue, it was deeply connected to his emotional well-being. His bouts of weight gain and loss were often seen in parallel with the highs and lows of his career and personal life. This correlation suggests that Vandross's eating habits and physical health were inextricably linked to his emotional state, a common phenomenon in individuals who struggle with weight issues. The media's intense scrutiny of his physical appearance added an additional layer of pressure. The public and media often fixated on his weight fluctuations, overshadowing his musical achievements and personal struggles. This relentless focus on his physical appearance likely contributed to a cycle of stress and emotional eating, exacerbating his health issues. Moreover, Vandross's health struggles offer a lens into the broader issue of how public figures grapple with personal health matters under the watchful eye of the public. The expectations and judgments of fans and media can create an environment where personal issues become public fodder, adding to the already significant stress experienced by celebrities. But despite the challenges posed by his health issues, Vandross remained a consummate professional, 
delivering heartfelt performances that endeared him to audiences worldwide. His ability to perform at such a high level, even when facing personal health struggles, speaks volumes about his dedication to his craft and his resilience as an artist. The story of Vandross's health struggles is also a narrative about the complexities of managing chronic health conditions like diabetes and hypertension, especially in the demanding world of show business. The irregular schedules, the pressures of touring, and the stress of constant public scrutiny can all exacerbate such health conditions, creating a challenging cycle for individuals trying to manage their health. Furthermore, his journey highlights the importance of mental and emotional health in managing physical health conditions. The connection between his emotional state and his physical health underscores the need for a holistic approach to health and well-being, one that considers the mental, emotional, and physical aspects of an individual's life. But in the end, Luther Vandross's insistence on maintaining a private life in an industry that often thrives on public exposure was a defining characteristic of his persona. The singer's guarded approach to his personal life was not just a preference, but a necessary strategy in navigating the often intrusive world of fame. This privacy extended to various aspects of his life, most notably his sexuality. In a time when public figures were frequently scrutinized, Vandross's choice to keep his personal life private was both an act of self-preservation and a reflection of the societal norms of the era. The entertainment industry in Vandross's time was less accepting of diversity in S orientation, and there was a prevailing belief that public acknowledgement of homosexuality could adversely affect an artist's career. Vandross, aware of these dynamics, navigated his public image with careful consideration, maintaining a focus on his music and artistic contributions. The speculation about his sexuality and its potential impact on his career, particularly given his significant female fan base, adds a layer of complexity to his narrative. It raises questions about the challenges faced by artists in balancing their personal truths with public expectations and the impact of societal norms on personal and professional choices. Moreover, Vandross's approach to privacy sheds light on the broader issue of celebrity and personal boundaries. His story exemplifies the delicate balance public figures must strike between sharing their lives with the public and retaining a sense of personal space and identity. His ability to maintain this balance is a testament to his character and his understanding of the dynamics of fame. Despite the challenges posed by public perception and the speculation surrounding his personal life, Vandross's legacy as a musical icon remains unblemished. His contributions to the world of music, characterized by his soulful voice and emotional depth, have left an indelible mark on the industry. His influence extends beyond his music. His life story serves as an example of dignity and resilience in the face of personal and professional challenges. His ability to connect with audiences through his music, despite the personal struggles he faced, speaks to the universal power of art to transcend personal circumstances. Vandross's legacy is not just in the songs he left behind, but in the message of resilience and the importance of staying true to oneself, even in the face of societal pressures. In the end, Vandross's insistence on privacy his navigation of public perception, and the speculation about his sexuality provide a nuanced view of the complexities public figures face. His story is a compelling narrative of an artist who maintained his integrity and focus on his art despite the challenges posed by fame and societal norms. Vandross's legacy, therefore, is a multifaceted one, encompassing his musical achievements, his personal struggles, and his impact as a figure who navigated the intricacies of fame with grace and dignity. Ultimately, despite being in the afterlife, Vandross, an emblem of vocal excellence and emotional depth, 
navigated through a landscape of personal and professional challenges with a dignity that became a hallmark of his legacy. His story is a poignant narrative of talent, resilience, and the complexities of fame. His struggles with health, his battles with depression and loneliness, and his steadfast commitment to maintaining his privacy paint a picture of a man who faced the trials of life with remarkable strength and grace. Despite the pressures of the public eye and the speculations that surrounded his personal life, he remained focused on his art, delivering music that touched the hearts and souls of millions. His legacy extends beyond the realm of music. Vandross's life story serves as a testament to the importance of staying true to oneself and navigating the challenging waters of public perception with integrity. His approach to privacy, especially in an era where public figures are often expected to share every aspect of their lives, speaks to his understanding of the value of personal space and identity. Moreover, his journey underscores the need for compassion and understanding towards those in the public eye. Behind the glamour and adulation lie real human struggles, battles with health, emotional well-being, and the weight of public expectations. Vandross's story reminds us of the human aspect of celebrities, the unseen challenges they face, and the resilience required to overcome them. Luther Vandross's voice, a blend of soulful melodies and emotional resonance, continues to resonate across generations, a timeless tribute to his talent and the depth of his human experience. His story, with its blend of triumphs and tribulations, remains a compelling narrative of a remarkable individual whose impact on music and on the lives of his fans will be felt for years to come. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.